and welcome back to Venus. We're back here in our little hut, and last time we got the ice crusher all set up so we can crush some ice and we have a renewable source of water. That also helps cool our base down a little bit in here while we get everything else set up. Today, what we want to do is get the filtration set up for our waste tank. Our waste tanks are getting heated up and full of oxygen every time we go outside. And when we bring it back inside, we, um, we want to get that oxygen, after we cool it down, back into our oxygen tanks. Should have actually put the waste tank <laughs> inside the base to start it cooling down last time. While we're out here, I'm just going to start printing an electronics printer because we're going to need that next time and it takes a while to print. We're going to need some pipes for our filtration system. And since it's nighttime, let's throw some coal in the generator. We need about a stack of pipes for what we're going to build. While we're out here and we've got the generator going, it's a great time to do some smelting. There we go, that's a stack of pipes. Since I forgot to empty my canister of waste, let's print another canister. We'll stop the smelting just so we can get the iron out and then keep it going. That electronics printer is at 65%. There, now we have a spare a canister for our waste if we run out. We're getting pretty close again. Since we're waiting for everything, let's do a little bit of a little bit of mining. We don't want to go too far away from our base right now. We'll keep it in sight. We don't know when that first storm is going to hit. A little coal while we're out while we're out here. We are gonna need some copper and gold too. If not for now, then for the next episode, because we're gonna be doing some more electronics work or electrical work. a minute after your waste tank caution that you can push it but you don't want to push it too far ah, electronic sprinter is done let's just put that away for next time and we need to get the next few things we need for the filtration need a passive vent and we're going to need some cables as well Get the cables going first, then we'll throw some fuel in the generator. Gold takes a lot to smelt, so it's always good to have coal in the generator when you're smelting gold. Oops, forgot to turn off the printer. <laughs> well, we're always going to need more passive vents. Fortunately, that used up a lot of the iron. We're going to need two of these canister holders. That kind of makes sense. We're going to need an in and an out for our system. You put your waste tank in and you're going to need a way to fill your oxygen canister. It always flings those out of there. 
It always looks like it's going to hit you in the head, too. We'll just put the gold away for now. Put some copper in there. Here's our second canister. We can store our metals over here. We don't need to take them inside with us. And while we're here, obviously we need the atmospherics kit. Now we already printed the filters. They're already inside. We are going to need a bit more copper here to do the atmospherics kit. Get that going. It seems like we're always thirsty. Mm -hmm. I was looking for valves, but I already took the valves inside, the valves that came on the lander. Okay, get our atmospherics kit. We'll leave the smelter going. Let's go inside and get started on this filtration system. We might as well have a drink while we're inside. I think next time we're going to want to set up our, our airlock here. Usually I just wait until we get an electronics printer so you can print a labeler. That just makes setting it up so much easier. And stash some of this stuff away. These canisters, they won't cool down while they're in your suit. I mean, they won't heat up to outside temperature either. But you have to put them on the floor to get them to cool down. I guess you could hold them in your hand, too. Let's get this can out of the way. And that's back there is where we're going to build our filtration system. Let's switch that to filter. Filtration. Yep. Throw the oxygen filters in there. Don't forget those. It'll just put everything into the output pipe. Or will it put everything in the through pipe? I think it just goes everything in the output pipe. Since we're going to be building stuff over this, let's get the wiring in there first. Uh, the output comes out here. That's going to be carbon dioxide and other things. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want it coming straight out like that. Let's put a little elbow in there. Make it a little bit more compact. Now, we're going to come over. I don't want it going right up the side of the filtration. We're going to come over one. Oh, of course it wants to join that. You have to use your little delete and page up, page down keys and so on to get this to work right. So we've got two things we want to connect to the input. We want to connect our waste, obviously, which will be a canister holder. And we want to be able to bring air in from the room because we need a way to put all this air in the room back into our oxygen tank. So we're going to need a valve so that we can turn that on and off. I'm going to try to get the handle to go the other way because I have OCD apparently. There we go. And then need the active vents or passive vents sorry then we can work on the output now the output should not 
touch the corner because then you risk um, it heating up due to being in contact with the outside. And you might wonder why I let the other side touch the corner. Well, that's because it's generally going to be empty. It's going to be a vacuum in that pipe because we're going to pull all the air out of it all the time. So 99% of the time, there's nothing in there. This is the output. If I had white paint, I would paint it white, but that's going to be oxygen over here. Now, I think I put about maybe eight segments or something at 100 liters each. That's about the capacity of our tank. So that means if we put all of our oxygen in there, we really can't overpressurize it. Let's connect up our power. Need the wire cutters. That's not wire cutters. There we go. See if that works. Yep, got power. Nice thing about the filter filtration unit is it works really quickly. All the other pumps in the game seem to be slow. The filtration unit is fast. Okay, let's throw the coolest of our waste tanks in there and turn it on. And we'll get out our tablet and have a look. Yep, it's going in there. It's completely emptied it out already. But I would like to put some pipe meters on here just to make it look a little bit nicer. Let's get ready and go back outside for a second. Oh yeah. We could try to pull some air from the room. We've got 65 kilopascals in here. That's quite a bit. I like to keep it down closer to 30. Let's have a look at what's going on in here. Now we're It's filtering. It's putting carbon dioxide and a tiny bit of nitrogen into the waste pipe there. And we've got 28 degree oxygen going into our oxygen tank over there. Or oxygen pipe, I guess. I'm going to call it a tank. That little two segment pipe of waste is going to hold a lot of waste. We don't really have to worry about that one for a while. I will throw a pipe meter on there though, just so we can keep track of it. We've got our a pressure down to 46 kilopascals now. Let's just turn that off. Uh, we'll empty this one out. Yep, zero kilopascals. Turn that off. Let's get ready to go outside again. It's the middle of the day, so it's a great time to swap batteries. That's what we need. Need three of them. Looks like we're going to run out of copper. Oh, there's copper. We're good. Smelt the day. Good time to smelt some iron. One. Mine something. If we're waiting for something, let's mine something. Yeah, we're gonna need more copper. We always need lots of copper. If nothing else, when we start trading, I love to trade copper wire. It doesn't cost much. You get a decent price for it. And you can set it up automatically to make a whole bunch for you. Air tank, no. 
and probably should have topped up my air tank before I went out. Well, ah, there's lots left in there. We're good. You gotta remember there's some left in your suit, too. You get another few seconds grace period. Waste tank. Caution. You'll notice the waste tank stopped going up in pressure there. That's because we got down to zero pressure in here, so that the air conditioner isn't trying to work against the heat anymore. Okay. Before we forget, more oxygen. This is a hot waste tank. Let's put it on the floor. It starts cooling down. Get these pipe meters on there. Now we can just look at them to see how much is in there. Let's see which of these are cool enough to uh, to use. Oh, 50 degrees. Start pulling some air in from the room. <clears throat> Eventually want to pull all this air in and I actually want to empty this tank here into, into our new pipe. So we're just going to pump up the pressure here and empty it out in the, into the room and that filtration system will pull it into the pipe. Yeah, so the pressure's climbed around 60 or so kilopascals and it's all going through the filtration system. It's down to 2 megapascals and falling rapidly. While we're here, let's throw one of these in there. It says zero, but when I take that out, it's probably not going to be zero. Yeah. Kind of funny how that works. Take the other cool one. This one was 50 degrees. Throw it in there too. See, it's not empty. The only way to really empty these canisters out is to shut off that valve so you're not pulling any in from the atmosphere, and then you can empty them out. And that tank is uh, completely empty. Zero pascals. Ah, so let's deconstruct it. it. Takes up a lot of room. There we go. Look how much more spacious this place is. I've got some battery left there. How hot is that thing? Hmm, still 85. Hmm, it's almost up at 4 MPA. There's actually quite a bit of oxygen in this room. Huh, gotta remember to drink. Okay, so we're, we've still got almost 60 kilopascals in here, and it's going to slowly pull it all out of here into this tank. Oh, we're already up at four. That's pretty healthy. It says there's nothing in there. <laughs> but there's something in there. Oh, we're still going down. Our water is still nice and cool, and there's lots in there. Now the key is, when we bring waste canisters in, we're going to want to leave them on the floor for a while until they get pretty cool. Because whatever we put through the filter is going to go into our oxygen tank over here. It's at about 29 degrees now. We don't want that to heat up too much. A little bit would be fine. Once you start putting hot oxygen into your suit, then it just makes it that much harder for your AC to cool down. 
And we're down under 40 kilopascals. We're getting there. Getting pretty close to 30. Yeah, there's not much in there. Thirty-three, yeah, it's pretty good. Thirty-two. All right, we'll shut that off, and then we'll empty the rest out of these waste canisters. And we'll swap it, empty the other one, and we're good to go. So that's good. Yeah. Five. That's actually quite a bit of oxygen pressure in there. Good. We're all good to go. Okay, that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next time we'll be looking at some more electrical type of stuff.